Hey, 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 hey. Guess what? I gotta whisper you a secret. Nobody believes what the Bible really says. I have the only true voice on YouTube. What the Bible says is really going to happen is there's going to be seven horny women for one horny guy, uh, as it is written in Isaiah 4. These are the days of the beast of uh, Daniel 11, the king of the north who has invaded the king of the south, the latter day prophecy. And the great bear of Daniel 7, 5. Now here's the words. Now you can eat all the fluff that you would like. Originally it was just chewing on three ribs. Uh, but now it has taken an extra annexation. And so guess what? What the Bible really say is that all the mankind will have to go underground. The kings, the rich, the poor, all of us. And the death toll will mount into billions. And the truth is that all of this is preventable. But know this, people of love, Putin, Mr. Putrid Putin, part of his propaganda has been now, a couple days ago, yesterday actually, uh, sending all uh, messages over all forms of media to beware of uh, how to handle radiation when they're attacked. So he's, uh, 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 he's basically preparing to unleash that which Zechariah has foretold. Eyes will consume away in the sockets, tongues will consume away in the mouth and our flesh will consume away in those battles of slaughter. Uh, they will consume away uh, before our bones have the chance to hit the dusty ground. Rivers of blood shall there be. Only death is ahead of us, as it is written in uh, Deuteronomy 18, 18 and Acts 3. Unless the messenger is uh, validified, <laughs> Uh, what I have been saying is valid all along, but I cannot get nobody to listen to truth out here in the valley of ignorance where they stand, having a form of godliness, apostate as it is, denying the power of love and denying all prophecy. Know you not that in these days of putrid Putin, the, the true Antichrist, who has invaded the king of the north exactly as it says. Uh, this is a vision for a time, times, and a half a time. And the uh, armament of Russia uh, will cause the end of the world as it's been known. The earth in peace is never to rise again, Isaiah 24 says. These days are exactly like the days of Noah. And know you not that unless the hearts of fathers turn to children, children to the fathers, that this world will be utterly destroyed, Malachi 4 says. That's why I'm telling the kids, don't love your parents if or because kind of love. Uh, love them in spite of kind of love, uh, through things and kind of love, because otherwise you got no love at all. So in these hours, uh, Jesus said that unless his word was received uh, and um, him, his word coming forth on the great white cloud of uh, Matthew 24, his word has come again right now, right here at this channel. Uh, his word of Revelation 14, he has put his sickle of his love into the earth to reap it for his harvest of love and his harvest of love. Uh, he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper. And uh, Amos 7 prophecy has manifested fully. So know ye not, people, that the word of destruction shall be as a tidal wave of death and catastrophe and calamity and annihilation and destruction and desolation and nothing but an asshole uh, inviting kind of time for everyone not paying attention to the, these messages. For our Lord God has given his kingdom age message, hallelujah, saying, I am your God, you are my people. So the veil can be lifted so people can take off their masks and start smiling at one another. God says, I'm your 
Your God, you are my people. I forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I'll write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, none will ever even need to be taught of me, saith the Lord God. For all people of earth shall know me, from the least to the greatest. For I am the love living in no good damn good man. Romans 3.10, there is none, no good person. But Christ living in us, that makes us all pretty good even when we're sleeping. So praise God. God, that the hour of revelation has come. And from off the latter-day mountain, God is now removing the veil uh, that has covered all nations. As it is written, the, the latter-day mountain covered with food. Who will come and feed the master's household? Food, not milk. Food. No more should we have uh, yesteryear's toxic uh, milk uh, because it's gone rancid long ago. It's time for food, real sustenance. Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away, Christ asked, of uh, the one who would restore all things. And if he cannot return uh, or if, if his restoration from Elijah does not happen, he cannot return according to Acts 3.21. It says so. So all you people who have been ignoring me, I suggest you stop it if you really want this world not to be uh, spiraling to a world where there will be no birds, no fish, no mankind, Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, to a world totally cut down. Jesus said that unless his word came forth anew, because only God's word can uh, do what it can do, Unless his word came forth again, no flesh could be saved. And people are ignoring me, you stupid assholes. It's time to realize that I've connected all the friggin' dots and none of you got any friggin' ground to stand on with your uh, obsolete religions that the dust and smoke will blow away, as Hebrews 8 says. For when he said, when you hear the words, I am your God, you are my people, then Israel has inherited all things and all faith is obsolete on this world, Hebrews 8 says. Uh, and uh, Israel has inherited all mankind because the covenant has been given to all correctly. God has never been a respecter of man. Uh, the Christians have a false God. Their God is not the God of the Bible. Their God is not the God uh, that says, I am the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. Their God is not the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. They got a false Christ. Their God is not uh, the real God because they got a God of conditional love that has never existed. Unless love is faithful and merciful and kind and patient, long-suffering, it's not even love at all. Love only desires to love. They have a God of conditional love that has never existed. There is no divine conditional love at all whatsoever. End of story there. And so uh, lastly, they have a God who is a respecter of man. And he says unto everybody that's a Christian, anyway, he says, hey, don't do as I do. Do as I say. I can be a respecter of my children, and I don't have to be loving. If they don't believe I'm love, I'm going to hate them forever and ever and ever and make sure they fry alive. And I'm going to have jolly uh, time remembering all the, all the screams of, of terror from all of my children who didn't think I was loving. <laughs> Really? Huh? And I'm ignored? Y'all got a false God. And here we go. We're going to be all destroyed. These days of Noah are for complete destruction. And if people won't awake to that, nothing but folly. We have nothing but desolate heritages. And so it's time more than ever that we come to realize that the Lord wants to prepare a way where it has seemed to be no way. And he can only do that if we will focus on his star of stars. And if we're willing to take off our masks. And if we're willing to beat our sword 
into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more so we can learn the ways of war no more. Wide is the way to hell paved with conditional love where we practice daily and justifies and rationalize why it's okay not to be forgiving. And without forgiveness, there is no love. Without love, there is no forgiveness. And so in this hour, it is vital, absolutely urgent that people start sharing this program sharing my videos unless you want to die because it, by doing nothing when good people do nothing uh, it's the end of the world already so it's time to wise up because God's way has to be prepared by hearts opening I have uh, atheists now saying wow you got an interesting take on everything dude uh, you know, that's because the covenant was switched. Early Christians, they grabbed the uh, books of the Hebrews and then they dared not only stole them, then they said, and we are Israel and all the prophecy is for us. Utter delusion. Uh, Muhammad said that in the latter days, his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. And that name is Chrislam. That is the latter day name of Isaiah 62 too, that God said he would appoint to Israel in the latter days, in the days when they've been given their covenant of Malachi 3 1 uh, which is uh, causing now the shattering of the power of the holy people Daniel 12 7 because the book was only closed the canons only till the time of the end Daniel 12 9 so Christians your canon is exploded uh, Islamics your canon is exploded uh, Jews your canon is exploded and it is shattered because I bring you the very thing that you all claim that you're waiting for and are too deaf to receive it. And so uh, God has a shit diarrhea crap pie for your eye and it's going to go down your throat uh, with a rubber hose like chocolate malted and out your nose and through your eyes and it's, you're going to be a shithead is what you're going to be. And he says that to all vipers and snakes who will not embrace his love's greatest message to all mankind that straightens out all distortionality. Know you not that we've all been looking through a glass darkly? Know you not that in the latter days the wise might be able to shine as the sun? And these are the latter days of King Putin, the beast these are the days of the revealed lawless one, Morg Official, on YouTube. These are the days of the revealed latter-day uh, uh, false prophet, Dr. David Awar of Repent and Prepare the Way YouTube channel. Uh, Google Elijah is here, the false Elijah, uh, and you will see a video of him calling down magically, not a miracle, not a miracle, magic, a fire from heaven that really wasn't even fire, but it looks like a laser beam. It's undeniable, and that is what was written of the uh, false prophet that would call down fire from heaven in, in front of multitudes. Uh, Revelation 13 says so. And uh, Morg official, the lawless one, who is not the Antichrist. It's a different Antichrist. He's an Antichrist wannabe. The 666 is on his wall. Uh, the Hyperion uh, leader uh, who's too shit uh, cowardly to ever debate me either. Uh, I've been nagging at that guy. Hey, how about a date uh, debate? He's got no answers at all. I've got them all. So the bottom line, it's time to have some love. And it's time to let that love be uh, unconditional for everyone. Uh, if, regardless of the if fans but to love everyone in spite of their flaws because we all have them it's time to quit being uh, uh, totally hypocritical in all of our love where we let it just wax cold where we slowly uh, commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit so that we would become a castaway cast out into the outer darkness of the lovelessness of no love <laughs> And so it's time to, you know, the bottom line is Jesus says all of our sin is forgiven except uh, the unforgivable sin, which is to kill all your love, to let it wax right cold. And so it's time to revive in order to come alive and not to just survive because many, the whole world will have to go underground, the Bible says. It really does. Google it. Uh, the kings, the poor, the rich, the slaves all will go underground is what the Bible says. I believe in Mark uh, 14. I, I, I got so many verses I can't be sure. Google it. It'll come up. It's pretty good when you go Google yourself. I can Google myself. Can you Google yourself? 
one thing for sure, it is time to put away the distortional understandings. That's why Muhammad said, at the time of the end, uh, my people will belong to another that sounds like Islam, and it will get rid of all the distortional uh, distortions, he said, because of a book proving God's mercy. And he knew that book was behind him in Jeremiah. He was fully in on the mystery of God, the veil of love, and it was to remain until the time of the end. So that his 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 all of his people dying from uh, rotten milk might awaken to new food, brand new food foretold uh, when Christ's kingdom comes to earth. Matthew 24, him standing on the great white cloud with his messenger of love, Daniel, the latter day Elijah, who is not the the. Uh, to witness Elijah. That guy will be ministering death. It's my job to turn the hearts of children to fathers, fathers to children. Um, so there are two Elijahs, the, to witness Elijah with two candlesticks, and then there is the one candlestick, Elijah of Zechariah, uh, and I am that one. Uh, Zechariah 3, God picks an alcoholic covered with Barth, standing before the great white throne to be his author, uh, his 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 uh, writer, as uh, one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18, a writer, uh, line by line, Isaiah 28, as a destroying storm, a writer, written plainly on the tablet, so all those who readeth it might run, a writer, uh, Habakkuk 2, King James, a writer, the writer of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, a writer, a writer of the flying scroll, YouTube, uh, and the, a writer, a writer who would restore all things. But don't you know, in this fucked up world, it's not proper. You cannot have new revelation. And how in the hell are you going to restore all things if no one will listen to you? Boy, the spotlight just fell on me. Uh, unless no one will listen to you and everybody says, you're not allowed to have new revelation. How the hell are you going to restore all things without revelation of revelation, which I have had? Did you know all the secrets of the universe have now been restored unto mankind through one man and but a moment of a moment within an instant of an instant? And everybody who has twisted unloving religion, no one wants to listen to me because they they thrive, they think, and a, a bunch of Babylon. They are living in com confusion. So it is time to come out of Babylon uh, before uh, that light hits me in my head. <laughs> ah, that's what the world is doing. Ah, they think they got stuff, they got shit. Ah, and they're going to get a lot of shit right in the, up the nose with a rubber hose. Don't do it. Fall on the rock. Don't let the rock fall on you. Ah, you'll be pulling out your hair. Have some love. Grow a heart.